Hey guys, Sam from Irons Outdoor, and today I'm getting ready to go fishing, and I just got a few rods with me here today. And I think the first bait that I'm going to be, you know, focusing on today and probably using the most is this little Kitek swim bait, swim bait right here, which is this Kitek uh, Swing Impact Fat. All right, and that's a swim bait I'm going to be using today. I basically just have it rigged on a Texas rig uh, with this little um, weight right here to make it, uh, you know, a weedless presentation, and then I can, you know, run it through weeds and stuff. Uh, which is a lot better than fishing on a jig head where, uh, you know, I could get it stuck. And I've also just got a wacky rig and a Texas rig tied on my other two rods and uh, we're just going to go ahead and put these rods in the car and uh, get to fishing. Alright guys, so as you can see behind me, I just made it to the first spot and uh, there's kind of this little cove right here which I think could definitely hold a fish or two, so I'm going to have to try to kind of sneak up on the fish right there and hopefully catch one of them. Oh, oh, no, oh no, I still have him. Wow, this thing is tiny, but wow, that was kind of lucky. I got stuck on a branch and the like swim bait fell down and this guy was right under that tree over there and I caught him, but man, this guy is tiny. <laughs> it's the least, it's the first fish though. And I've actually been in this pond a couple times before and I've never caught anything, but uh, I've been here with friends and they've caught stuff here before. I just said, I don't know, I've never caught something from this lake before and uh, haven't been here in over a year, so I decided to try it out and well, that's not too impressive, but maybe we'll catch something bigger than that. All right guys, so I've been here about 15, 20 minutes, which really wasn't that much time, but I can only fish just like one little spot in this pond. It didn't really seem too promising. I only caught that one tiny little fish. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go to the next spot. All right guys, just made it to the next spot. We have a little bit, a little area to fish here. Probably just fish this cove for a few minutes and uh, well maybe like, I don't know, 20 minutes or so, and then probably head on to the next spot unless we're doing really well here or something like that. Got him. Oh, there we go. Well, at least this one bait lasted one more fish. Could have been the one that hit earlier. Oh my gosh. This guy's still pretty small, but at least he's an upgrade from, upgrade from the last one. It'd be hard not to get an upgrade from that last fish that we caught. Anyway, second one on that little Kitex swim bait. I mean, these Kitex, like, if you have not tried a Kitex swim bait, I would definitely recommend trying one. The action on them is really good and you know, it just entices fish to bite. And uh, there we go, second fish of the day. Shoot, that might have been another bite. Oh, that was another bite, look at that. Bit the tail off. And that stinks though, I didn't catch a single fish off this swim bait. Now that it doesn't have a tail, you know, it's useless basically, so I'm going to have to put another swim bait on. Got him. Right there. Just another little one. As you can see right there, there's all these railroad ties against the shore. Oh man, we are only getting dinks today, but as you can see right there, there's railroad ties, you know, across the whole shore, but then like right there, they're just kind of like one missing and the water comes up farther. And there's always like minnows hiding right there and there's always, you know, bass right under there ready to ambush them. So just kind of expecting one from right there. Fortunately, it's pretty small, but we'll take him. Got him. Oh, come on. That felt like a better fish. Man, dude. Oh, that felt like a pretty decent fish. That stinks. Might need to tighten my drag a little. This rod's not that stiff, but the lighter tip allows me to cast this bait farther, but, ah, I mean, I don't know. I can't blame it on the rod. I should have had a better hook set. All right, guys, so that last spot didn't really turn out too great, but we did at least catch a couple fish there. 
Unfortunately, the uh, biggest fish, or at least I think it was the biggest fish that I had on, got off there at the end, but uh, I'm at another spot and I'm gonna try to catch a few fish here. All right guys, well there's been a good bit of like fish activity and I uh, haven't had any action on that uh, swim bait. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and switch to this little stick bait right here. This little uh, Zoom Zlinky and uh, I think it'll definitely be able to catch them. And uh, I'm just gonna put on a wacky rig right here. Got him. Literally first cast with a wacky rig. The wacky rig can just easily always catch them here, so. I just think this water is really clear and almost too clear for that swim bait. It's actually not a bad one. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty good one for here. It's about a pound. All right, there we go. First one at this pond. The wacky rig always just catches them so easily. And uh, you know, I'm, I was getting a little frustrated when that swim bait just wasn't getting any bites, so just put on the wacky rig. All right guys, well this concludes this video. Uh, it wasn't too bad of a day. I caught at least one fish at every pond I went to, so you know, hey, you know, it's decent, but uh, they're all, all the fish today were very small. And unfortunately, those Kitex swim baits are really not that durable. I used, well, I have the fifth one on my uh, rod right now, but I lost four, lost four of them and caught three fish. So, you know, you're paying like over a dollar per fish you catch basically, but that's okay, you know, at least it catches fish. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video.